Well, today was a very big day. We'd be learning whether or not the Biden-Harris administration would be honoring the request of countries like India, who want the intellectual property rights of the COVID-19 vaccines waived so they'd be able to produce and distribute their own generic versions of the COVID-19 vaccine. And we found out that Joe Biden, in fact, did the right thing, thankfully. He decided to honor his campaign promise, and as a more perfect union reports... The Biden administration announced its support for a waiver that would allow less wealthy countries to manufacture COVID-19 vaccines. A global movement demanded that we stand up to big pharma and save lives, and the president of the United States kept his promise. Now, in the press release, it states, United States Trade Representative Catherine Tai today released a statement announcing the Biden-Harris administration's support for waiving intellectual property protections for COVID-19 vaccines. Quote, this is a global health crisis, and the extraordinary circumstances of the COVID-19 pandemic call for extraordinary measures. The administration believes strongly in intellectual property protections, but in service of ending this pandemic, supports the waiver of those protections for COVID-19 vaccines. We will actively participate in text-based negotiations at the World Trade Organization needed to make that happen. Those negotiations will take time given the consensus-based nature of the institution and the complexity of the issues involved. The administration's aim is to get as many safe and effective vaccines to as many people as fast as possible. As our vaccine supply for the American people is secured, the administration will continue to ramp up its efforts working with the private sector and all possible partners to expand vaccine manufacturing and distribution. It will also work to increase the raw materials needed to produce those vaccines. So this is absolutely excellent news. The United States is saying, we are not going to stand in the way. We're going to waive these intellectual property rights so that way these pharmaceutical giants aren't able to sue other countries for producing their own vaccines. So now the U.S. is saying, we're going to let them use the recipe to make their own vaccines. The same vaccines that we're using, just generic versions. Now, predictably, after this news was announced, Pfizer, BioNTech, Novavax, and Moderna shares plunged. <laughs> so sad. So incredibly sad. Let's all shed some tears for them. Because now, they're not going to be able to profit off of people's pain. They will no longer be able to be the sole manufacturers of the world supply of the COVID-19 vaccines. This is honestly phenomenal news, and um, I'm tough on Joe Biden. I'm hard on him quite a bit, but he gets credit where it's due, and he gets massive credit for this. Now, did he take too long to announce his decision? Yes, I think that the deliberative process was a little bit too long, and this was a campaign promise, so there shouldn't have ever been a question. There shouldn't have been a need for us to put this much pressure on him. Nonetheless, he did the right thing, and this is fantastic news. What we have to do, and I've said this once, I've said it twice, I'll say it again and again and again because it's really important. We have to make sure we vaccinate every single country as fast as we possibly can. We are in a race against the variants because if we actually want a chance at ending the pandemic, we have to make sure that the virus stops spreading so new vaccine-resistant mutations don't pop up. Now, now, there are already some mutations that are uh, making the vaccines less effective. They're still effective, albeit just to a lesser extent than the other variants, the original variant and the UK variant. But we're in a race against the virus and we have to do what's needed. And if we want any chance of getting back to normal, and when I say normal, 2019 hell, not pandemic hell, then this is what we have to do. So this is excellent news. Things won't happen immediately, but this is a huge step in the right direction, and it's the first piece of news that actually made me feel optimistic for the future in quite some time. You know, it's not often that I get to say that the news that I'm presenting to you is positive or that Joe Biden did the right thing, but in this instance, he absolutely did the right thing. And, you know, it's funny. Somebody pointed out on Twitter from the Gravel Institute that Bill Gates is having a really bad week because not only did he announce that him and his wife Melinda Gates are separating after decades of marriage, but now the one thing he fought against looks like he lost that battle too. So sad, so sad. Feel really bad for these uh, pharmaceutical giants and billionaires. And it's also a little bit sad that Dr. Anthony Fauci ended up showing his true colors when he didn't have to. If he just consulted with Joe Biden, he didn't have to... Uh, 
uh, make yourself look like a fool and defend vaccine apartheid. But that's neither here nor there now. And the goal now is to vaccinate as many people as possible. And vaccine hesitancy is another thing that we have to focus on in the United States. But one step at a time, we're making progress. And this absolutely is excellent news. And I'm, I'm genuinely happy to hear this.